What is this, JV? Bruh, what are we doing here? Training models over here? All right. All right, y'all. Kevin Lee back in the building. New father is now a daddy. Papa Lee. Papa Lee, I like that. Lee. We're back at it. GPP, foundational stuff. We're gonna be working some hypertrophy, but first we're gonna go with our low level plow metrics, getting him prepared. We got plenty of time to build, to grow, to get stronger. Follow along, let's do this. So you're gonna go heel toe, extension, back down. Extension, back down. We're gonna go up for height. Almost like you're gonna go and dunk a basketball. You're jumping, boom, right? Drive, boom. Use those calves that you have that I don't have. Oblique bounds, all right? So I want you to go at more of at a 45 angle. You're gonna push, load the hip, push. Push, push. You wanna have tightness everywhere, right? So you wanna squeeze your glutes, you wanna squeeze your inner thighs. So I'm gonna take my heels and I'm gonna place them right underneath my hips because then that's gonna allow yourself to be tight. I'm gonna get my heels back as far as I can to stay tight. From there, I'm gonna grab the bench with my inner thighs and squeeze my glutes. So what we wanna do is we wanna act like your leg extended. So even when I push, I'll slide this way, which is okay when I go to press because I wanna press that way. Don't think your knees, think upper inner thighs into your nuts. So we're gonna go block because I just want you to hit it right there in the middle. Protract, retract, pull apart. When we do these correctives and in between type work, it's either one of two things. It's like to be the total opposite of what you're working so you don't get over fatigued. Or if we're working what we're working now, which is hypertrophy and work capacity, it's like to get those muscles activated so that it can assist you in what you're doing here. We're gonna go alternating presses, 10 reps each arm. Start with 50s. As you do it, you're gonna go one down each time, right? Keep both of them up though, right? Let's get 10 reps on this. Good, let's go. Drive it up and squeeze. Drive it up and squeeze. Good, come on. Let's knock out 20 reps. Two hands on this one, two hands. Well, my grip got a whole lot stronger. Glad to hear that. I feel like my punches are harder too. Mainly it was the dumbbell work because you have to maintain that stability. The kettlebell work too, you got to maintain the stability. And as you're gripping it, even with the barbells, anything that you're gripping, you're just working that grip isometrically. And then you're not allowing this to happen. So all this has to be stable. The main thing is keep your technique. Even if there's less range of motion, don't sacrifice that range for like shitty form, right? So even if you have to go like right here, just get it, but maintain your posture, maintain your form, don't lose it don't break into you know break over here and open up and move around right good turn them in good abs tight though abs tight bend the knees a little bit Good. Come on. Control it coming down. Don't let it just drop, right? Blast it up there. Come on. Blast it up there. Come on. I'm taking your MAP, maximum aerobic power, and I'm staying in between your MAP and about one and 110% of your MAP. So you're up there. It's only one minute. Your MAP, we test it off at two minutes. Blast it up above five, above five. Keep going, go, go. As hard as you can now, go. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, relax. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the video. Kevin Lee starting off with his GPP, working towards a fight in March. We've been working diligently since his knee injury, building it back up. We're in the process of actually getting him prepared for a fight camp. So low-level plyometrics into some hypertrophy work with some high volume, then finished off with some aerobic power training on the assault bike. If you want to know any more details on that, hit the comments down below. I'll try to answer them. Make sure you subscribe to the notification. Hit the like button. I'll see you again next time. Peace.